Well, you guys, today we're going to be talking about Microsoft sets the prices for Windows 10 extended security updates. Now, Microsoft is ending support for Windows 10 on October 14th, 2025, and you're going to need to pay yearly if you want to continue using that operating system and receive uh, system security updates for Windows 10. Now, Microsoft will offer extended security updates which is your ESU for Windows 10 users with pricing starting at $61 for the very first year and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Now the pricing for additional security updates will be offered to consumers for the first time uh, ever with Windows 10. Now business and consumers will need to purchase an ESU license for each Windows 10 device that you plan to keep using after the end of support cutoff next year. So that is Microsoft's uh, policy and that's what they're doing. But before we continue, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 11 Pro and cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM keys, then check out the links in the video description. Head over to CD Key Sales, create yourself an account and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases. They will then send you your key. Uh, once you've purchased it, you can use PayPal to pay for your key and then you can activate your version of Windows. Now, a lot of people may be considering upgrading to Windows 11, but unfortunately, millions of computers can't upgrade officially to Windows 11 due to Microsoft's strict uh, hardware requirements. So, Windows 11 only supports CPUs released from 2018 and onwards, and of course, with devices that support TPM and security chips as well. So that really does sort of hinder a lot of computers, and that makes them obviously not compatible for Windows 11 officially, according to Microsoft. Now, normally, Microsoft only offer subscriptions for extended security updates to organizations. So this is the very first time they've offered this to home users or the consumer market. So what does this mean to you? Well, I think Microsoft are going to be releasing pricing for home users a little bit later on. These pricings you're seeing here are for uh, business use, as you'll see on this particular page here. So if you can't afford a computer and you need to continue to use Windows 10, then you have the option to pay for extended security updates. And this is the first time, like I said, that Microsoft have offered this uh, for home users. So basically, is it worth doing it? Well, in my personal opinion, I just think it's not worth extending uh, for that amount of money because obviously it's going to double each time. As you can see here, stay on supported version of Windows. Microsoft have laid down some options like upgrade existing eligible PCs to Windows 11. Unfortunately, like we've already said, millions don't meet that criteria. Purchase a new Windows 11 PC or migrate to the cloud and subscribe to Windows 365 and make Windows 11 available to users on any device with cloud PC ESU. So you can see they are offering some options here, but again, all this comes at a cost to you. So what should you do? Well, that's going to be down to you on how much you uh, want to value your computer and how, whether you want to continue uh, using Windows 10 instead of Windows 11 if your system is compatible. You can see here, note prices will double each con consecutive year for a maximum of three years after that, obviously, they're not going to offer any more security updates. If you decide to jump into the program in year two, you'll have to pay the first year as well. So there is always a way of making money with this particular type of scheme. So they are offering, I will leave this link in the video description here, and they are talking about a $61 US dollar for the first year for each device. And I'm not 100% sure whether this is for consumers or like home users. I think this is designed for business pricing. So maybe they are going to release that information a little bit later on. So what does that mean for you in money wise? Well, going by this price scheme for businesses, it's going to be $61. Then it doubles to $122 for the second year. And then for uh, the third year, it's going to double again to $244. I mean, that's a lot of money uh, to continue receiving extended security updates on a platform that is basically 
uh, going to die after three years. So you could put that money towards a new computer. Now, I'm not going to go through all of this article here, but I will leave the link in the video description because they are offering some form of discounts as well. And they're also offering cloud-based Windows management as well. So there's quite a lot inside this article, which you can read at your own leisure. And I'll leave that in the video description for you. But remember, Windows 10 still has 69.4% of the market share. So they are still using Windows 10 over Windows 11. So that's quite a lot of money if people uh, in businesses choose to go down this route for Microsoft. And again, home users are still using Windows 10 because obviously some of these people haven't got modern day computers that will allow them officially to upgrade to Windows 11. Now, the big problem I see is millions of computers uh, out there are not uh, upgradable to Windows 11 officially, and that means that they will be stuck for, on Windows 10. Now, what does that mean? That means they're going to have to bite the bullet and either pay for extended security updates. And of course, that's quite a costly thing to do on an old computer that is not upgradable officially to Windows 11. So that money can be used for purchasing a new computer. Now, the only problem I see with that is, of course, is that means that then people could end up being forced to use Windows 10 without security updates. And that is another big risk. So what do they do? They've got options like install uh, Linux, which is a good option for some people, but it's not really ideal for everyone. And that's just the way it is. If you've been a Windows user all your life, you might not adapt to Linux very well. And a lot of people do try Linux and end up coming back to Windows. And some people find it OK and they can stay on Linux. And if you're one of those people, then you've got a solution. My only problem with Linux is the actual community. They are pretty toxic, especially towards me for some reason. I don't understand why, because I don't hate Linux at all. It's just the fact that they do love to troll a little bit. And if that's the community that you want to jump into, then by all means do so. But it is a viable option nevertheless, and there's plenty of flavors to choose from. And it could give your old computer a new lease of life and keep it going for a few more years without having to pay any money out. The other option is to obviously sp spend some money and build yourself a compatible Windows 11 computer, or you can stay on Windows 10 and pay their extortionate fees to receive security updates. And uh, that's pretty much the only options you have. Other than that, I think that's going to be about it. So let me know in the comments section below what you're going to be doing on your uh, older computer that is not officially compatible with Windows 11. I'll be interested to read your comments. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.